Good morning, traders. It's Tuesday, June 4th. Taking a look at the charts this morning, we're going to probably see a lot more volatility this week, uh, pretty much as expected. We're just in a volatile, volatile state kind of. Yesterday, we saw uh, more or less uh, a glitch there in the New York Stock Exchange, causing some, some halts of about 40 stocks. Uh, created a little bit of a hiccup and I think some early morning selling as people didn't know what was going on. Um, overall, we got lots of mixed signals. We had uh, some some uh, more data coming out today that show signs that uh, the economy health is slowly disintegrating, which is what we've been talking about and watching for a while. I covered it in the CGS video yesterday. Um, unemployment starting to rise, all kinds of things starting to shift and um, show signs that we are headed towards a crisis. And of course, people are thinking now with uh, bad uh, manufacturing numbers uh, showing things are slowing in the manufacturing side, uh, that the Fed now is going to start to cut rates. So we are, if rates are going to start to go down, then we're going to see the bond market start to move higher, which is which is what we're seeing here. If we take a look at bonds, bonds have had a big one, two, three, four day rally, a very strong pop to the upside. Um, now, this is speculation. People are thinking instantly as soon as we have a little bit of, of normal um, economic data, they think the Fed's going to instantly start cutting rates. Um, again, this is emotional move. We've seen these some of the strongest rallies in stocks and bonds or anything happen during downtrends. You can see these huge rallies, these big four or five day rallies, and they just end up fizzling out. So don't get carried away with the hype. And um, people front running things, they have been wrong for the bond market for years, thinking that uh, they're going to keep going, they're going to find a bottom and go up and they don't. So there will be a time when they do turn a corner and they head, start to head higher. Uh, but this is all just still a news driven market. The last couple of trading sessions, making stocks and commodities and bonds swing around with all that stuff. Now, oil fell out of bed yesterday um, I, and, and it's continuing to collapse today, down another 2% this morning. Uh, breaking down. This is a, a series of bear flags where we've got a drop, a small bear flag, the second half of that. And then we've got this larger broadening formation, which is also still seen as a, a bear flag. And now it's starting that big move down that can bring us back down to the $70, $68 per barrel mark uh, very, very easily, bring us down into these lows. So uh, a Fibonacci extension there. Let's just take a quick look at a curiosity. I could get that bar to move. There we go. Um, if we take a look based on these price action, you can see that brings us down to around $69, $70 per barrel, which is right down to these lows over here. So there's quite a bit of downside still. Uh, it's already had a, a landslide. It's just bleeding out here and it could continue to uh, have this precipitous fall uh, down to this level. And of course, that's if the economy is getting weak, we're going to see slower demand, slower travel, slower sales, slower um, you know, oils used in almost every product, it seems, or at least to move it. Um, so if things are going to slow down, we're going to see oil naturally want to go down as well. Um, if we take a look at the VIX, we have the VIX up about 5% this morning. It's uh, it's not really elevated much in the grand scheme of things. It has had a, a pop and a move. We're seeing a little bit of fear in the market uh, today. Uh, the put call ratio uh, was up about 8% yesterday. Nothing too significant there. But overall, we did have a wave of fear. Uh, we'll see how the markets shake out. If we go and take a look at the long-term chart real quick, um, key thing here is we've had a nice run up. The stock market on the weekly chart of the SP500 is flagging out here. This is a bullish sign pointing to higher pricing of 4, 5, 6% to the upside. Um, seasonality wise, we tend to see the stock market top out in June or July. So we have this window and um, again, it's June right now. So four bars to the upside could bring us into, you know, the midpoint of the end of June, beginning of July, and maybe the market puts in a high there. So that's ideally what we'd like to see. Uh, and but we'll just have to let the markets do what they're going to do. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. Let's take a look over at gold. Gold and silver are both down a little bit this morning. They have a little bit of a short-term bearish flag pattern here. In the grand scheme of things, they've they've rallied up, hit their 100% measured move, and they're just chopping sideways, digesting. And maybe they're going to have a little bit of a leg down and break this low for a little bit of an ABC correction, which is uh, generally seen as actually a bullish sign. It cleanses the market. Everybody who's too hypersensitive will get shaken out when this low here gets broken. So trigger stops, and then we can see it go higher. Uh, silver, I think, has broken that today or yesterday already. If we zoom in a little bit, uh, it broke this low right here. Um, 
uh, yesterday. It had a little bit of a bounce, and now it's back down below that level. So it is continuing to consolidate, cleanse itself, and um, spook out uh, anyone who's hypersensitive to the space. And uh, it is still pointing to higher pricing. It's stair-stepping its way up, which is a, a strong sign. And it's uh, at a nice pace as well. It's not uh, any parabolic type of move. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's uh, let's take a look at the Russell really quick. Uh, Russell 2000 down about three quarters of a percent this morning. It had a big rally there yesterday in pre-market. It was up a percent and a half. By the end of the day, it had closed down uh, negative and it's down again today. So definitely seeing... Um, fear creep into this market. Uh, everybody was super excited. Uh, they piled into aggressive stocks and then suddenly people got nervous and they dumped aggressive stocks, which are small caps. Uh, and so uh, that, that fear is carrying over a little bit today. So we'll see how things go in the grand scheme of things. The markets are, are still um, in an uptrend, digesting uh, different pieces of news. I think we have more news out today. Um, uh, some Fed news, and we'll see how all this uh, plays into the markets. But if we take a look at the SPY, it uh, uh, looks like we have economic data, a little bit of a pop and, and, and shake up, and it doesn't look like a whole lot's going on. I'm not sure what time. We have some data coming out later today. Um, I think it's job openings. It's expected to be lower, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I talked about it in the CGS report yesterday, how... Um, uh, Unemployment is starting to rise. It's 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 broken through a level that typically uh, almost every time it's it's turned up from this level, we go into some type of financial crisis, a stage four reset. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right away, but it means we're on track. Uh, obviously, if the jobs number comes out today, um, uh, in favor of that, it's going to confirm a little bit more that we're getting close. The music is about to stop, and the question is: Are you holding stocks as uh, as they fall, or are you going to be? Uh, on the sidelines um, or profiting from falling stock market when it comes. Anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.